Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And in this video, I really want to go over and tackle the topic on how to actually get started with shops in 2022. By the time you're seeing this video, we probably most likely have already released how to get started in Facebook Marketplace in 2022. Now that video went over just the basics of even how to sell and get a business running on Facebook Marketplace, like how to post, fulfill orders, and even have Facebook accounts. But I really know a lot of you guys are trying to get into shops now, people who are a little more advanced than that. So now I'm coming out with a video on how to actually just the basic stuff you need to get started with shops. This video will be extremely just straightforward with you guys and I'm going to get right into everything you need just to get started from even the small simple basic stuff to the stuff that gets a little more advanced. Now just getting into shops isn't crazy advanced but I'm not going to waste any more of you guys time so let's get right into it. So the first thing that you will need to get going with shops and Facebook Marketplace in 2022 is you will need to make sure you have a Facebook account. I know it's something that's extremely simple, but just make sure you have one. You can use other people's accounts. And just to break this down extremely fast for you guys, you can literally go onto your friend's account, make a shop, put your own social security number or your business EIN into that. And it will have no effect onto them whatsoever. They won't get locked out of their account. We've never seen that happen from our experiences. And it's basically separate and it's just under your name. And later on in this video, I'll get into the more advanced stuff. Like how you can quickly just add someone as an admin. And that's how you basically can then kick them off of that account. But we'll get more into that later on. The next step on getting into Facebook shops and how to get started. And by the way, I just want you guys to know like I will not go over in this video like how to fulfill orders and like all that other stuff that was saved for the other video so you can also go check that out I literally just want to get only into how to get started with Facebook shops. So that next step is, is actually just going create in the shop. Now, something that you can do is you can either create a shop through the commerce manager, or you can actually go and make a page and then create a shop off of that. You can go down to sell your sell products on that page and you can just do it throughout that. But the way we recommend and the way we've seen the most and the best results is actually just going through e-commerce manager and creating the shop and then just going through that process. But if you guys actually want to see screen recordings and a lot better of a step-by-step -step on how to actually get set up with Facebook shops, you guys can join our monthly subscription website. You can buy the monthly or the yearly plan. It's extremely cheap right now. Once we get more courses out, we're planning on upping the price because there's so much value inside. We also give you guys Zoom calls. We also, besides the courses, we also do live uh, live Q and A's. So if you guys are very interested in this, make sure you guys go sign up. It'll be linked down in our description down below. But if you guys are someone who does not want to do it themselves and you're getting really tired of Facebook Marketplace with all the bugs, restrictions, everything that's going on, and you just want to get passive income and make money, then you can go book a qualification call, which will also be linked down below with our guy Andrew over at eCommerce University. Him and his business partner Jason, who's behind the scenes, have been getting their clients massive results. They've even been able to help people actually make their ROI in under two months. So once you go through the process of actually getting the Facebook, creating the shop, like I said, you can either do it through the page or you can actually do it through e-commerce manager, which like I said, we already recommend you do that. Once you got that done, the next big steps is you have to go through and fill everything out, meaning you have to go put your social security number in or your EIN in. You need to make sure you put the shipping in. You got to do all the little basic stuff that it actually tells you to do on the overview page of that manager. Once you do that and you get all the green check marks, you can actually publish your shop. But in order to actually get that shop published, you need to make sure the account is approved. Now, in the overview page, you will also notice that if the page is approved or not, or if it's still in review, it will be red saying the sh shop can't be published, means you got denied, you can go request and try to get another review on it, which we, you know, we tell people go do it if you want, but it's really not gonna help you too much. But if it is in the yellow, that means it's still in the review process, and then if there's nothing there at all, or there might even be a small little sentence down below where it says your shop is published, and then once you got that, you just gotta, like I said, go through all those steps like I talked about, and just make sure everything's set up and then you will have to publish your shop. And to double check to make sure all that is just set in the stone and you are in a good spot, is if you actually go down well in the overview to see the sales channel, you can then look to see if the marketplace and the shop is in green. Now, right now, as I'm making this video, we're still waiting on the marketplaces on newer shops to get, you know, come out in early 2022 like they talk about. So if it is not in green, there's a chance that you can actually edit the, uh, it'll say edit in there. 
And when you do that, you can actually make it turn yellow by updating it. So that way, when it does come in early 2022, you can then basically get that in green and start selling on Marketplace. Once you have all those steps set up and you can even see that your mar your shop is approved and the Marketplace either waiting or approved, that's when you actually have your shop set up and it's already ready to start selling. Now there's a lot more that goes into this and there's a lot more tactics on actually how to get the sales and get more advanced. But like I said, I really just want to keep this video short and sweet and just talk about how to actually get a shop started. Now, something that is very crucial I go over and I'll save this for the last part I go over because it's just it's the most important part of all everything to do with Facebook and we always talk about this stuff. Now is the time you will have to create multiple shops. Once you get that shop the first one down packed, you know what you're doing, you actually went through the process, you know everything was set up properly. That's when you got to start making many shops, multiple shops. You can literally put the same EIN across 100 shops if you wanted to. We have the same social security number and EIN into multiple shops. We have around 25 approved right now. Not all of them have marketplace. We are waiting for most of them to get approved. With the, I mean, sorry, they're approved, but we're waiting for the marketplace to be approved and be in green. So that's why you will want to make sure you create as many shops as possible. Don't be afraid of that. Also, something I need to go over really fast is that if you actually get a shop not approved, do not freak out. Don't be like, oh, I can't use this social security number now or this EIN. What you do is you just go make another one. And when you make another one, you need to make sure that you basically put as many shops under one business manager as possible until you get one approved. Now, once that one is approved, you move to the next business manager until you get one approved. Now, the reason why we recommend this is because with restrictions, let's say you have three approved shops you're selling on under one business manager, if you get restricted on that account, what happens is every shop under that business manager gets restricted. So you lose all three shops. So that's why we highly, highly recommend, and I'll say highly again, because you need to make sure you do this, is that you get one shop approved under each business manager. Now every account's different. Our accounts are old, so we have around four to five business managers under each of them. You guys might only have two to three, and if that is the case, just make sure you get shops approved under those. I hope this video really helped you guys. I know I didn't go literally step by step on how to basically set up a shop page. I just talked broad about it, like the steps you are supposed to do. The If you guys do want to see a video on how to actually do it step by step, Kyle already released one for free and that is going to be under our YouTube. Now, like I said, if you guys want to join our website and actually get a better step-by-step -step on how to do it, you can go there. But the content is free throughout our YouTube, so you can go check that out. And also, if you guys are very unsure about joining the website, or if there's anything that you guys are worried about, you can just shoot us a DM. Our Instagrams are linked down below in the description. They're also linked in our information, in our channel. So feel free to reach out. Don't be afraid. Now, I will say, over the past few months, we haven't been responding to them as fast as possible, only because we have been putting the subscription-based website first, and we're very busy with everything we do, but eventually we'll get back to you guys and respond. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.